Sometimes fate is like a small sandstorm that keeps changing directions. You change direction, but the sandstorm chases you. You turn again, but the storm adjusts. Over and over you play this out, like some ominous dance with death just before dawn. Why? Because this storm isn't something that blew in from far away, something that has nothing to do with you. This storm is you, something inside of you. So all you can do is give in to it, step right inside the storm, closing your eyes and plugging up your ears so the sand doesn't get in, and walk through it, step by step. There's no sun there, no moon, no direction, no sense of time. Just fine white sand swirling up into the sky like pulverized bones. That's the kind of sandstorm you need to imagine. And you really will have to make it through that violent, metaphysical, symbolic storm. No matter how metaphysical or symbolic it might be, make no mistake about it, it will cut through flesh like a thousand razor blades. People will bleed there, and you will bleed too. Hot, red blood. You'll catch that blood in your hands, your own blood, and the blood of others. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure, in fact, whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain. When you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm's all about. Haruki Murakami, Kafka on the Shore You know, a lot can change in, what, three months? However long it's been since I last really uploaded? You... Get sad, and I don't want to be one of a million and three depressed YouTubers, because Lord knows, every YouTuber is depressed these days, and that word's become a borderline meme at times. No, it's more than that. It's legitimate illness and hospital stays. A loss of passion, a loss of drive, a loss of confidence. A lot can change, and I guess that's why I'm coming to you now. It's not actually New Year's when I'm filming this, or recording this, I should say. My recording area kind of got messed up along the way, so I don't have as clean of a place to film as I used to. So for now, I'm actually going to be doing something a bit different. I've taken up streaming, because who doesn't stream these days? I've taken up playing games, because I love playing games. I really want to get back into making content for all of you six subscribers that I have. I really want to do better. And that's what this is. This is an update to let you know that 2019 is the year I, Audrey, the Yandere Ponzer, does better. I don't know if you guys have made New Year's resolutions. I don't know if you're in the market to share your New Year's resolutions, but... My New Year's resolution is to do better, to do better with my channel, to do better with my health, to do better with doing stuff. I'm not going to the convention I usually go to in March. I'm not in shape for it. I would be doing me a disservice by going to it. So we have 11 months until the next anime convention that is local and that I've heard is pretty good. Will I do something for that one? I certainly hope so, but I'm not even going to think about that until probably March. For now, though, I would like to share something I got for Christmas. It is a very, very pretty game. It is called Grease or Gris or... I don't know. It's G-R-I-S. And it is probably the prettiest game I have ever played. So, without any further ado, Hi, I'm Andre, the Yandere Ponzer. Welcome back to my channel, Yandere Ponzer Cosplay. When is the cosplay coming? Soon enough. But for now, here's this.
So you might be wondering, what the hell just happened? And I was wondering that a bit myself. I don't know why I lost all of the frames in the opening cutscene of Greece. I wish I did know, but I don't. I do know that I was worried about having my mic be too loud, so I overcompensated by turning my mic down, and as an end result, you can't hear a single thing I said the entire first 
episode. I mean, at least it's fitting because the girl lost her voice too, so it's all intentional and all part of the narrative of the story. Really, I promise, ignore the fact that the audio is fixed within a few minutes of the next video. Really, it's it's all allegorical. I promise. But I'm really sorry. It was kind of a weird and clunky first episode. It does get better. I get better, which is the whole theme for this series and this year. So I would like to say thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel once again. And because I have to say this because it's embedded already. Thanks for watching.